So what are we looking to change about ourselves for this upcoming year? My fellas? fat fucking gut. <laughs> <laughs> Kegs are better than six packs. That is true. <laughs> I've always liked that phrase. Our friend Christian, he's got to get on the show. I don't even know if Christian watches. My longtime neighbor. He, he he's works at Pyrite right, right now. Uh, oh, does he? I just really? saw him what? as a seasonal job. Yeah. Awesome. I had no idea. He used. To, I think he. I heard that for the first time. It's like I don't have a six pack, but I have the whole keg. And I thought it was the funniest thing I ever heard in my life. <laughs> No, that's the stereotype. Everyone's going to the gym. Yep. yep. And all this. For two weeks. And using yep. all their new Christmas gear that yeah. they'll never use again. Everyone's got a Fitbit. Yeah. But That'll be a waste. I have been like half doing insanity for the past like three weeks. Probably max three times a week. That still is hilarious to me. Because <laughs> it's you, impressive. You, you, I'm, it's I'm impressed. Like, I, insanity is for like fully in shape dude, people to like. I'm just, I'm just it picturing kills me. how... <laughs> <laughs> how like Tommy and all of them used to dress for the Zumba and I'm just picturing you dressing as that <laughs> doing fucking insanity so the thing is I don't going to the gym is a whole thing I'm not doing that I gotta get there there's people there I gotta They're come taking home up your equipment. anti-social bastard yeah no I'm not I'm not going to the gym <laughs> but the insanity I could do it from my house and it kills me but I feel like I'm fucking working out mm-hmm. But it's just too hard to keep up with. And then the one podcast I listened to, kind of funny, they did. They had a guy on there who tried insanity for like a month. It worked, whatever. And then he did the other one that that guy does, which is the T25. So it's 25 minutes a day, pure cardio. He said he did it for in three months. He lost 40 pounds, and then Holy in shit. a year he That's lost awesome. 100. That's awesome. I mean, he changed his diet, which That's is wild. like the yeah. biggest yeah. component. Yeah, it's the biggest thing. No. But, like, I'm right at the point where the 38 waist, where I feel like I'm almost a 39. I was like, no, no, no. this c- I can't buy new clothes again. I got to just, I got to do some harsh changes. Mm-hmm. They say the biggest thing is, like, fucking bread and shit. I'm cutting that out. Well, even, uh, I think a bagel is, like, 10 pieces of bread. Jesus. Yeah, because it's all yeah. squished and yeah. yeah. The yeah. good thing about my new job is I don't eat, like, breakfast anymore. So I'll, I'll eat like whatever I pack for lunch and then just dinner. But it's so fucking expensive. Yeah, but you not, just, not, not if you just eat good, fruit in the morning, it's yeah, have a banana and apple. Yeah, but the thing like the day. I've mentioned my bladder issues that I have the bladder of a ninety year old man. <laughs> if I like eat in the morning, I have to like shit my brains out. <laughs> <laughs> like it's bad, and I hate it. You're a conflicted man. Yeah. yeah, I mean that's why. I mean I don't do it. I wake up like thirty minutes before I have to leave for work. But like most people would like wake up earlier, eat, drink their coffee, and then you take your morning poop, and then you're on your way. Well, the very first thing I do every morning is poop. That is the first thing I do. There you go. At but least then, you're regular. Yeah, That's but then good. I have to typically go again within an hour of that uh, first <laughs> bowel <laughs> movement. <laughs> make any sense. You should just eat X-Lax the second you wake up oh, and just God. get it all out. <laughs> so, yeah, ideally lose. I don't. I, our one friend, Kevin, said it. Not our Kevin. Hey. Said it that he works out so he can eat. And I love that lifestyle. <laughs> I'm not trying to be some rip motherfucker because. I mean, you can go through like old pictures of me when I was in like seventh grade, and I had the I have hypothyroidism, so I don't have a thyroid because I got killed. But I was like hyper, I guess, and undi- I was like one seventy. And how skinny my face looks! I look like sickly, and I don't like it. Yeah. Like I, I don't want to ever go bones. that skinny, ever. But just a little bit, losing this gut a little bit. There you go. I'm proud of you. Yeah, I have to agree with you. I'm pretty fat, so I'm just. Gonna, I don't believe that for a second. It. I'm gonna work on that a little bit. <laughs> I just want to look. I just want to change my my diet. Why? Because I eat like absolute hell. <laughs> what do you? Isn't your well, what's your new favorite right now? Isn't it Panda Express? Well, yeah, the Panda's <laughs> great. <laughs> the Panda's great, but like I, I've sort of cut out fast food at this point. Although, got some stocking stuffers for Christmas this year. <laughs> what, what were Burger cards? King, Wendy's, uh, Chick Fil A gift cards. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> Ten dollars. I mean, you could just go to the store and sell them because they have those places now. Do you actually? Do you, do you lose a lot? Yeah. What? Do they straight up? Uh, because there's I a pawn like shop 10% right here. Ten or something that you lose off of it. I mean, that's not bad though. Depends on what it is. Like if it's Taco Bell, I'm I'm gonna use the whole thing, yeah. so I'm not even worried. Or about if you that. just find a buddy. I sold my five dollar gift card to Starbucks. Yeah. To Brant. But I was gonna bring <laughs> up works. one thing. Uh, there's a challenge where like for a whole month you try to eat. You can't eat anything that comes out of a box or a package. 
it's all like from the earth. Yeah. That's impossible for me. I tried it and I didn't make it a week. Really? <laughs> it's so hard. My parents started a, uh, a thing called Isogenics where it's like they have a whole plan for you and stuff like that. You, you have like certain cleanse days where you don't eat. Like all you do is drink their shakes or do whatever. They're like protein shakes or something like that. <laughs> but like you cut out, I think it's no dairy and no bread or something, something like, like that. that. Dude, I but like my, it was. It seemed like a pretty simple thing to do, and like my, and my mom already lost like twenty pounds or whatever doing That's it. That's awesome. So like I wanted to, I was looking into different types of diets and stuff. Maybe some something because I'm on like a budget, okay. like of stuff. So something that I could actually follow on my own and like be able to so i mean no bread that's easy you just get pork roll egg and cheese and an omelet (laughs) (laughs) it's the hardest thing though especially with living with people who don't because everything's there yeah like that you don't you can't eat but want to especially if you're not buying it all yourself yeah mike what are your resolutions nothing i'm thinking about going the uh the whole year without the the facial hair. Oh, what do you man. mean? <laughs> yeah, taking it off. Taking it off for the yeah. year? Yeah. It's been a staple. <laughs> for how many how many years have you had this now? Did you when was the last I time mean, you cut your mustache at least? Well, that's been a while, but it like I feel like it started in junior year. Of so high school? Was, yeah, of high school. So like six years ago. That thing's got some girth. <laughs> <laughs> There's some but, death. I mean, there's been times that I shaved it, but no, it's I don't been even, here for a while. I don't remember what you look like without, like, with a clean face. Neither do I. That's <laughs> is that weird? <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm gonna have tan lines under it. Oh man, <laughs> it's probably it's probably gonna be just straight like, pale white. <laughs> So, you might have to go to a tanning salon and some tan lotion, everything <laughs> but like your fucking white spots <laughs> on your beard. So yeah, that's your resolution: a year without the facial hair. <laughs> a year without the facial hair seems too easy. <laughs> seems like you're cheating. I, I don't know. I'm probably gonna of... lose friends. <laughs> well, you did make a Facebook post, and there was quite a bit of controversy. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Do we uh, just start a poll? Yeah, do a Facebook, Facebook poll. I already know what's gonna. Yeah, happen. you know the answer. Yeah, because they're keep it. Your mustache is like a. It a has cult more classic. of a reputation than me <laughs> in the town. <laughs> you made your gamer tag I mustache, so then you have to change that. Yeah, you'd be living. No, you'd sure. be living a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of that. Nick, uh, I think my resolution is be more patient with like stupid people like Rosa. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. Ser- seriously. I want to definitely uh, be more dedicated to bettering myself. Like, I want to go to the gym more. Uh, like, I'm definitely happy with my body. I'm, I can't complain in that respect. But I still want to go to the gym more. I like being strong. I like being buff. It's fun for me. And also my mind as well. Like, you know, you guys know I've been coding all the time. And I still want to keep that going. And I always just improve in some aspect every day. Whether it's like playing 20 minutes of guitar or going to the gym or 30 minutes of coding so or something. So basically more ambition in your interests. Uh, not necessarily ambition because, like, for instance, even when we play video games, I still try and make it as efficient as possible, if that makes sense. Like, I won't just waste time. Like, I want to do clan matches, something like that, which is at least some sort of productivity in the video yeah. game. Um, but just some other form of self-improvement, like, regardless of what area it's in. I just like that you said that because literally no one ever says that. And that's the what fucking problem with our country. No one says on working on bettering themselves specifically mentally. It's all about our physical yeah. appearance to everybody. And I don't know if we said it on this show, but the Joe Rogan tweet that was years ago. He's I don't know if, yeah, if one of you told me it, but it was like he tweeted out a few years ago, we have a massive gun problem in this country that's disguised. We have a massive mental health problem that's disguised as a gun problem. And no one says let's better myself, and that's what you said, which we all should. Thanks. Take and you shouldn't need, also, side note, shouldn't need the new year to make these changes. Yeah, right. But nonetheless, since we're talking about it. It is a fucking joke. <laughs> it's so easy, too, to make the excuse. Like, even with the Saturday, my dad was like, oh, you're not doing it this week? Um, 
And I was like, no, nah, I need to start fresh on a Monday. Yeah, exactly. Why? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what why? Is the it's all, like, why can't you start on yeah, like a Wednesday? It's all oh, crap, January 2nd. All right, we'll start next month. Yeah. If, oh, I missed it a day. Well, the New Year's is like, everybody looks at it like a restart. A button. clean slate. Yeah. yeah. Well, I can't. I'm really interested to see that at the end of 2017, if people are going to be out crying like they are right now, it's 2016 mm-hmm. being the worst year that has ever happened in yeah. the history of because existence. Because most people need a push to do something, mm-hmm. so then... Well, I'm just mean. Just make that as the push. All the shit that's happened this year, all the oh, yeah, deaths, no. this the year, election. Everyone has been claiming that this is yeah, definitively the worst year. was kind of weird. Uh, this no, this was a bad was year. Pretty bad. We are, we've lost yeah. some great people. A phenomenal gorilla. <laughs> I miss I miss him so much every day. I love you, Harambe. Harambe. <laughs> I'm tearing up. All right, up, so if if we could take <laughs> if we could take one person back. That passed away this year, celebrity wise. I'm telling you right now, if there was a ballot, Harambe would actually Harambe would win. But, all right. I miss him. Do you see me? I, I have legit That's... tears in my eyes for Harambe. <laughs> yeah, people voted for him. Yeah, he, he got a massive ten thousand votes. <laughs> he got ten thousand votes. Got 10, the, That's the problem votes. in our country. <laughs> this stuff. The phone's at the table. I'm God seeing who died <laughs> in 2016. It would have to be Carrie. And Fisher in my. In That's my what mind. I just want. That's to. just off the top of my head because I want to see David Bowie. She, well, yeah, David Bowie's obviously a <laughs> freaking legend. Him, any any life for that matter. Alan Rickman, yeah. celebrity or not, would pull a big Prince thing. Prince was a god too. So yeah. Alan Rickman was Severus Snape. Yes, in her. and he that. was Hans Gruber in the greatest <laughs> Christmas movie of all time, <laughs> Die Hard. But I also, even though like I didn't like really like know a lot of the stuff he did because he was young, it's got to be that kid that was in Star Trek because he's the youngest that died this year. Which. The kid from Star Trek. Oh, yeah, 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 Oh, shit, yeah. I forgot about that. That was early this year, right? Kind of, yeah. yeah. He was probably well on his way to score another roles and stuff, too. Yeah, I'm sure. But, I mean, Carrie Fisher, man. Princess she was Leia. supposed to have a bigger... I think she she actually rapped she, they did her that. role in episode eight, and she's actually going to have a bigger role. So, I don't know if... Well, this is the thing. It's like, what do they do? Die, or whatever they might have movie. to change it now, which yeah. is upsetting. Yeah, which is like, ever that's that that's the it's the worst part that that's everyone's biggest worry is how <laughs> that's, that's going to be a weird way to content. handle that too. Yeah, yeah. somebody like, actually made a GoFundMe page to fly like fund him to fly out to Betty White and make sure she stays safe <laughs> till the new year. <laughs> oh Are you serious? Yeah, <laughs> that that would ruin it for everyone this year. That would be the final thing. Yeah. I mean, we have one or two more days yeah. to get through. I don't know some of these people. Mine's Crazy. definitely Carrie Fucking Fisher. Keith Richards. He's dead? No. Uh. Goddamn <laughs> skeleton, though. <laughs> all, those, all those guys are so lucky, man, that they're... It's crazy. Based on how they live. Shout out to Kimbo Slice. Kimbo... Oh yeah, he, he passed died on right. June 6th. Wait, yeah. what? Yeah. yeah, you didn't know Kimbo yeah. Slice. I, forgot I about remember that. hearing that. The fuck? <laughs> yeah. From what, steroids? I think it was a hard thing. Uh, Purple drink? That drank. Yeah. (laughs) Well, let's hope that 2017 is a better year. The four play resolution. How many subscribers? You gotta have a goal. You gotta shoot. Let's get to let's get to one million dollars. One thousand. I wanna crack I wanna crack the century mark first before anything. Yeah. We need to get there. People I know we see people are watching the show, but the subscribers are definitely not equaling the people that watch and that's the one number we would definitely need to really grow to be more publicized and then i think that's also in correlation like when you watch a video the recommended videos on the side you know if you like watch a random video and then there's like recommended I'm oh yeah sure that impacts it if we're higher bigger. subscribed yeah dolphinately i'm gonna say dolphins in the playoffs 500 the dolphins are going nowhere <laughs> oh you'll see they will go Giants nowhere. to the ship. Given the Cowboys Stop. their third loss. That's all I want. Honestly, I if we that's could just really make them want. go 0-3 this year and they that's the only games they lose, then I'm fine with that. <laughs> the happy. Giants and I the don't... Dolphins are the same exact team. They're completely mediocre teams that we're making the playoffs. <laughs> I'll take it. It's fine. We're in it. You just got to be in we're it. Thank you guys for watching. As we learn how to use the equipment, we hope the shows will look and sound better. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and our podcast on iTunes and other podcast services. See you next time.